we can attempt to automate um, this hidden height calculation so we don't have to go through the um, process over and over again. So we can use Excel to do this. Um, so if we type globe earth radius and we type in the value for that and that is 6371 um, kilometers. And we can do the same for the um, globe circumference. And that is 40,000, sorry, 40,075 kilometers. These values will not change. So if we have the height of the observer and we assume that it's six feet, then that is 0 0.0018. 288 kilometers. Excel has just rounded that. If I make this cell a little bit wider, um, you can see it better. I paused the video, uh, but what I did was I labeled um, the various aspects of the diagram. So A is this point where the observer's line of sight is. Uh, or height. Um, B is where this tangent touches um, the circle. C is um, where the tangent crosses this building. D is um, the point on the Earth's surface uh, where the building sits and O is the centre of the Earth. We can now use Pythagoras to find the length AB. So AB is equal to, now Pythagoras says that AB is equal to the square root of this length squared minus this length squared. This length is the radius of the earth plus the height of the observer. So let's do that first. So it's radius of the earth plus the height of the observer and it's all that squared then we have to subtract the radius of the earth squared so minus radius of the earth squared and now we have to square root this whole expression. So I'll put brackets around it and I'll put the square root so now we have the length AB and that is equal to 4.827 kilometers now, using trigonometry, we can find the angle AOB. Um, just to remind you, the angle AOB is found using this expression. Um, cos of angle AOB is equal to length OB divided by <coughs> length OA. Oops. So angle AOB is equal to the inverse cos of OB divided by OA. So this is the calculation that we are going to do to find angle AOB. There is one issue um, within Excel. 
in that it works in a radians, not degrees. So we have to convert this um, to radians eventually. But let's work this out first and then we'll worry about converting to radians. So angle AOB is equal to <coughs> inverse cos oops, equals inverse cos OB OB is the radius of the earth divided by OA this is the radius plus the observer's height so this answer is incorrect because um, like I said Excel works in radians so we, we need to convert to degrees in this formula we simply have to say multiplied by 360 divided by open bracket 2 times pi open bracket close bracket close bracket and I think that should do it yes so this is the angle A O B Now let's assume that this arc length from here to the building here is uh, 50 kilometers. So let's put that in. Arc length to building equals 50 kilometers. Then recall that um, we can use a certain expression to find out the angle AOD. So the angle <coughs> angle angle AOD divided by 360 is equal to the arc length divided by the circumference. This is the expression we use. So to find the angle, the equation for the angle would be given by angle AOD is equal to arc length multiplied by 360 divided by circumference so now we can work out angle AOD so angle AOD is equal to the arc length 50 times 360 divided by the circumference which is here circumference So now we have angle AOD and angle AOB. This means that we can find angle BOD. Angle BOD is equal to angle AOB minus angle BO minus angle AOD. Sorry is equal to angle AOD <coughs> minus angle 
A O B A O B which is equal to equals <coughs> angle A O D <coughs> excuse me minus angle A O B so now we have this angle here and we know this length here now we can use trigonometry again to find the length B sorry to find the length <coughs> AC so to find the length OC we use this expression cos of BOD is equal to this is the angle so this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent so it's equal to length OB divided by length OC so we have to uh, make OC the subject so OC is equal to OB divided by cos of B O D so O C is equal to O C equals O B which is the globe earth radius divided by the <clears throat> cos of BOD but because Excel works in radians we have to convert this to radians so we multiply by 2 multiplied by pi divide by 360 close brackets and that should come out correct um, oh, I'm missing a multiplication sign. There we go. Okay, so OC is uh, 6,371.16 kilometers. So now we can find what the hidden height is. And the hidden height is CD. CD is equal to OC OC minus the radius so this is the hidden height this is the hidden height not point one six kilometers so now that we have our spreadsheet set up we can simply um, change certain values and by changing those values uh, we can get the hidden height at a particular distance away so a particular arc length away so we could change this to 100 kilometers and this automatically changes um, and we could change alter our height um, so alter that to 0 0.005 and that would automatically alter the hidden height so um, I think it's worth setting up um, Excel to uh, automate this calculation and then um, at least you know exactly what it is that you are actually calculating so you know that you're calculating using this arc length rather than this straight line which some online calculators use.